you want the easiest recipe to making the famous Kenyan Matumbo? It's pretty simple, simple, just follow me. Let's get started. Ingredients. Cooking oil. One large onion. Frozen tomato paste. Three tomatoes. Two cubes of Royco. Turmeric. Chili. 250 G Matumbo. First things first, let us start by washing our matumbo. This part of the organs can be extremely dirty so, it is very important to wash them well. You may wash them once, twice, or till you are satisfied, but for me I think two times is quite enough. Also, do not forget to tell me where exactly you are watching from so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. Today's recognition goes out to Silas, who is watching all the way from Vatican City. Thank you. Washing these intestines can be tricky since they are very delicate and of course dirty. So, take your time when rinsing them. If you are truly satisfied about how you wash them, it is now time to boil them. After putting your matumbo in a pot, you can light your cooker to an averaged cooking heat and place your matumbo to come to a boil for about 35 minutes. From time to time, you can check on the pot of boiling matumbo to check if it's out of water or just something. In the meantime, as the matumbo continues to boil, we can divert our attention to chopping our onions, but first we have to peel it before we can do some chopping. Now we can start cooking. After our matumbo is left without water, we add some cooking oil and our finely chopped onion just on top of the matumbo as shown. After about a minute or two of stirring the onions, let us add in our frozen tomato paste, or if you have three tomatoes, you can chop them and nicely add them to the pot. Afterwards, drop in a pinch of salt, some turmeric and chilies.
If you really love spices on your food, well, you can always add in the cubes of Royco to your stew. Yummy! This will definitely add flavor to your food. After letting it come to a boil for three to five minutes, check on it one final time as you stir all ingredients thoroughly. You can give it a tiny taste in case it lucks something like salt. You can always add. Are you ready for the final product? There you have it. The perfect home cooked recipe on how to cook the Matumbo recipe.